guys, it is Carrie, the Invisible Goddess. Today is December 17th, which means it's Vlogmas Day 19. But you can see my neighbor on the corner, there are lights. Um, anyway, I am finally making that tea wallet that I talked about. And um, I will show you the pieces. So basically, I had to cut four pieces of fabric that are five by seven and a half. I did almost screw that up doing seven, so seven and a half. Um, and a piece of interfacing. Uh, the video that I was watching used um, a woven and I am using fusible fleece because I had a scrap of it um, and you'll see that I have to piece it together. So I went very simple and this is just three pieces of white. This is my fusible fleece. And then I thought this, uh, it's probably coffee, but we're gonna call it hot drink. Um, teacups <laughs> would be good for a tea wallet. So I'm gonna iron this stuff. The interfacing goes on this. Uh, two of these get folded in half and then we sew everything together. So I was just looking for something to tie the wallet closed with. Um, the tutorial uses a hair tie or bubble as she calls it. But I was gonna use this ribbon. Um, so I do have a red ribbon, but it's completely metallic and I thought it would you know, not feel great. But <laughs> then I figured out I have this. So I think we're just gonna use this because um, it's nice and you know easy. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. Midi braid in eggshell, whatever it is. And I can guarantee you I did not spend more than $4 on this because I have a, a roll of elastic that's just like this that I got, God, 20 years ago, uh, which is when I got this, um, that is marked. <clears throat> $3.99, so I know it was cheap. Now we have both of those square um, rectangles folded and ironed, and one last thing to iron, and then we can get to sewing. So I have top stitched both of the little pockets, and now I am positioning the first one one inch up from the bottom of the unfolded square. So then you run a stitch across the bottom of that and you position the next one on top of it, matching it up with the bottom, which we're going to pretend I've done nicely. So we have that all sewed together. Um, it's supposed to be an eighth inch. Mine's probably a little bit more than an eighth inch, but as long as you sew over it with, um, oh, let me show you. <laughs> We need to put the pretty fabric over this fabric so the nice sides are facing each other. And as long as I sew more than whatever the stitch width was there on this under fabric, it's not going to show. So uh, we're going to do a line of stitching all the way. Oh, no, no, we're not getting ahead of myself. I need to sew a seam up the center. So I'm going to start at the bottom and go to right about there. But before I do that, I'm going to fold this in half and press it. So I have a line to follow. All right. Now that that's done, <laughs> now I'm going to put my pretty fabric, um, right sides facing. We're going to stitch that together and leave an opening at the top because you want, want that bottom nice and secure. All right, so as you can see, maybe you can, yeah, you, yeah, you can. Um, this is my top stitching all the way around and then this is the top stitching, top stitching? The stitching that I did to attach the um, pocket on the inside. And here's my opening and I'm going to hopefully not struggle too much to turn it and I'll Press it after that. Has anyone else figured out what I forgot? 
because I just did. <laughs> uh, I am going to... Ugh. I'm going to open up a seam. Or maybe not. No, I'm not going to. Minnie's going to help us. I'm going to leave it as is and then... See that? that might look like poo though. Come on, Minnie. Get down. You're going to burn yourself. No, no, no. You're going to burn yourself. You need to get down. Come on. Come on. No, no. Get down. You got to get down. You got to get down. Huh? Get down. You're lucky Miss Kathy has a cat. There you go. Sewing with cats. Always fun, huh? Um... Yeah, so I'm I'm going to open up a seam because it's probably easier um, to do that than what I was planning on. You need to get down. Come on. All right, guys. took a little bit, but we have it <laughs> in. I'm going to leave it out there so I, I don't mess with it more. But I'm just going to go over this little part where I seam ripped a couple times and hopefully get it as straight as I can because I don't want it in there crooked. Um, because it'll make the tie come out crooked when you flip it, but, um, I'm going to go over that. Then I'm going to flip it and press it. You know, I'm sighing. Should be pretty obvious. Like everything I'm doing on this thing is coming out wrong. Um, I should probably have the ties on this side, but I don't really care enough to take it out and do it again. Um, but I will know if I ever put this into production. You know, don't forget to put it in to begin with. So, um, I'm waiting for the iron to heat up. I'm going to press it because uh, I find that makes top stitching easier. Uh, top stitch it and then I'm done. All right. Bah. Woohoo, guys. It is done. I already pressed it. You can see it folds right on the seam. <laughs> That I had already sewn, so that's that's pretty good. I think the real only real thing that I screwed up on was the ties, but I don't really care. It's gonna have to be good enough. Recipient might never use it. Um, she does drink tea, so that's the reason that I'm. You can see I'm gonna give a tea bag or two. Uh, that sounds dirty. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I got some true lemon. So that can go up there. And then what started this to begin with was these adorable little honey packets. I have no idea if she uses sugar or honey or, you know, drinks black tea. Um, but it also fits inside there and I will, I mean, pretend that there's another one in there and I'll tie it up, see how bad that looks. So I decided to not do an actual, like, tie. I mean, she, she can do whatever she wants. Um, if there's plenty of uh, ribbon there to tie, but I wrapped it around twice and just tucked the end through. So you really can't, really can't tell it's on the wrong side. Um, a design uh, element. I did that on purpose. Believe that? Anyway, uh, I'm ready to be done with my Christmas sewing. Uh, I have the makeup bag for my niece left. I should probably cut the fabric for that tonight, but I don't really feel like it. I want to be done with Christmas sewing. Um, yeah, I think if it's early enough, I think I'm going to force myself to cut the fabric out. That way I'll only have to, I'm looking at it, I only have to do the Cricut part tomorrow and iron that on and then sew it together. Cutting the fabric is the hardest part for me, or the most annoying part. Anyway, peace out homies.